Scikit-learn tip number 46. Want to improve your classifier's accuracy? Create multiple models and ensemble them using voting classifier. P.S. Voting regressor is also available. All right, let's take a look at the code. First, we've got a logistic regression model, and we're calculating the cross-validated accuracy by passing the model X and Y to cross-val score. It outputs an accuracy of 68%. Next, we've got a random forests model. We calculate the cross-validated accuracy with the same X and Y, and it outputs an accuracy of 69%. Finally, we'll ensemble the two models using voting classifier. I'll explain the code in a minute, but when we cross-validate the voting classifier, it outputs an accuracy of 72%. Thus, we've increased the accuracy by a meaningful amount just by using ensembling. So what is ensembling? Ensembling is the process of combining two or more models to produce a combined model, known as an ensemble, that is more accurate than any of the individual models. For a classification problem, the way ensembling works is that you can either let the classifiers vote on what class to predict, which is known as hard voting, or you can average the predicted probabilities output by the classifiers, which is known as soft voting. So why does this work? Well, the big idea behind ensembling is that if you have a collection of individually imperfect models, the one-off mistakes made by each model are probably not going to be made by the rest of the models. Thus, the mistakes will be discarded or at least reduced when ensembling the models. Another way of saying this is that ensembling produces better predictions because the ensemble has a lower variance than any of the individual models. So in this case, we ensembled a logistic regression model and a random forests model. Because their predictions are generated using completely different processes, they are likely to make different types of mistakes, and thus they're good candidates for ensembling. In terms of when you should use ensembling, it's useful anytime your highest priority is model performance. Keep in mind that ensembling does add a bit more complexity to your workflow, and the ensemble is also less interpretable than a single model. Now going back to the code, we created the ensemble using the voting classifier class. We passed it a list of tuples in which the first element of the tuple is a name and the second element in the tuple is a classifier object. We used soft voting, which is usually better than hard voting if you have an even number of classifiers in the ensemble, and it works especially well if your models output well-calibrated predicted probabilities. However, soft voting requires that your models have a predict problem method, which not all models do, whereas hard voting will always work. Two final notes before we wrap up. First, if you have a regression problem, you would use the voting regressor class instead of voting classifier. Voting regressor simply averages the predictions made by the individual regressors, and so you won't need to choose a voting strategy. Second, you may be able to improve the accuracy of your ensemble even further by tuning the parameters of the ensemble itself using a grid search. And that is the topic of the next tip, which is tip 47.